Hi Tamina, Kit here. What's up Tamina and the T fam? Hey Tamina, it's your girl Yasmin here. What's up you guys? So Tamina asked me to help her style a fit for a day. Hi T and hi T fam. Hey Tamina, I hope you're well. Eli Mwende here. Hey T fam, Wabasha here. Hey T fam, welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Tamina and I make university lifestyle and fashion content. And for this week, welcome to the series where I slide into other creators' DMs and make them choose my outfit for me. <laughs> yeah, I slid into their DMs, they were super nice. I really love most of these people, love their style, love their energy, just love their whole vibe, and that's why I slid into their DMs. So we're just going to begin. Actually, I'm very excited. Like, very excited. Yeah, some have still not responded, but I'm not offended because, okay, they haven't seen the message. You know how you can just love a DM? I would rather just have like a no thanks, I can't do it. That's, I would be like, oh yeah, thank you, have a good day. <laughs> so let's just begin and see what they chose for me. So this is Kate Candy, guys. She's an amazing YouTuber. Her channel is a nice mix of everything. She does lifestyle, travel, hidden gems, reaction videos, you name it. I first followed her because of her energy and her authentic vibe. I've met her once in an Insta market, <laughs> but we didn't talk much because of my social awkwardness. This is her Instagram. Her style is very simple, feminine, and eye-catching. And this is my favorite photo from her profile because I just loved the color and everything. Let's just hear what she has to say. Hi Tamina, Kate here. Uh, for your outfit for today, I'd like you to pull off an athleisure look. Athleisure, but make it chic. I feel like athleisure is perfect for this time. You know, it'll be comfortable and you can literally go to the supermarket look nice. You can literally decide to stay uh, in the sitting room and still look nice. So, athleisure, but make it chic. First of all, Kate, yes, why are you looking so good doing self-isolation like you guys? First of all, we need details on that hair. And your skin! Anyway, <laughs> let me stop admiring her. So Kate has said that we need to dress in athleisure and it needs to be chic. Now, as the fashion content creator that I am, you would assume I know what chic means. Let me tell you, chic is one of those words I just assumed I knew what it meant. But now that she's actually used it, I need to actually Google the actual meaning of chic and not just assume I know things here. So what is the meaning of chic? you i wanted to say elegant so it's elegant and stylishly fashionable thanks okay that's great so that's what we're going to do we're going to change into athleisure but make it chic as kate said and i'm excited because when i hear athleisure i think biker shorts yeah we have to wear biker shorts you guys so you know i only have two pairs of biker shorts <laughs> that's it so it's either going to be the snake print ones or the black ones and i want to wear like a puffer jacket um, and then I want to wear like a black. I want it to be all black or black and some snake print, animal print. I really like animal print, so yeah. Okay, so here is the outfit pre black jacket. I just put on my <laughs> biker shorts from Toy, and this is also from Toy. And then I just kind of put my hair in a bun to give it more of the chilled vibe. I love how she was so thoughtful. She was like, you know, if you're going to buy groceries and she's just chilling that like she really took into consideration that I wouldn't be going anywhere, which is super cool because this is super comfortable. Um yeah, I'm just going to throw on the jacket. Okay guys, so here is Kate's final look. I decided to go with this like it's a two-way, actually it's really cool, let me tell you. You can wear it like two ways. Inside it's black and then out here it's like this burnt orange, which I really like. So you can wear it two ways like that or like this so I decided to wear it like this because I like it more and then I decided to add some accessories so I have this bucket hat you guys have seen it a lot I lifted it lifted this too and then I decided to add like a funny pack because I love funny packs this one is just leopard print and I also thrifted it for like 200 it was such a good day and then I still have my biker shorts under here and then what I like about this um, jacket it has zips so you can like zip it to bring out like a cutout <laughs> it's such a cool jacket you guys I love it and you can put if you're actually planning to run errands like this since you decided that you want to look like the cool mysterious girl who just looks so cool in a mall and everyone wants to just talk to her but they can't because they feel like she's too cool to talk to then you can definitely go with this look as for me I'm not going anywhere but I love that her look was like very considerate she was like if you're still staying in the house you're going to be comfortable which yeah I love it it's pretty comfortable and yeah, here's the final look, guys. 
I would rate it a big fat 9 out of 10 because I'm comfortable. I love it. It's definitely my vibe. I decided to just put like a spin on this, my own spin on it. Of course, okay, you can dare me guys. Like the next time I go run errands, I'm going to go like this. <laughs> it's also pretty warm and yeah, I just generally really love the look. So this is Mike Simba, he is a YouTuber. <laughs> He's also a podcaster and a blogger. I first subscribed to him because I loved his energy and I loved how he was and still is unapologetically himself. I've actually never met him, which needs to change. We need to meet soon. But judging from his Instagram, I would say his style is very chilled, aesthetic and at leisure. This is my favorite outfit from his Instagram page. And yeah, let's just hear what he came up with. What's up, Temina and the T fam? My name is Mike Simba. I am a YouTuber. I am a podcaster. I am a anything. Just not as famous as Temina. But since I am friends with Temina and she's kind of famous, <clears throat> she asked me to pick out outfits she could wear for her, for her, huh? Well, they come by me, her channel, and she's doing a challenge. And this is what I have for her. And but before I get into it. Um, let me get just brief, 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 brief of what I have in mind. So I'm watching this show on Netflix called The Crown. And I'm thinking she does a 40, 50, 60, 70 look and try to pull out what they were wearing. And this is what I have for her. Darling, I want you to pull off the crown outfit. Man, if you do, uh, I know you love KFC. I know for sure you love KFC. Um, I don't want to make a promise, but I'm a seven I don't know if you. Okay, this is it. If you if you do like if you me and other people, and of course people in the comment section will have to say it and tell me how they feel about it. But if you pull off these things, I'm sending um, sticky wings. Enough said. Enough said, guys. So. Yeah, you have seen what um, Simba chose for me, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I have a few ideas in my head, but the one that he sent, um, he had sent so many things, guys. Like, his energy, you know, his energy greater than, so yeah, he sent so many things. And I'm just going to quickly go into my closet, try and select the one he finally chose. So come with me, come with me, guys. We're going to go into my closet to select the outfit um, Simba thought of. So the first part of Simba's look, I was thinking I could wear this. It's like a pastel pink blazer. Um, it's really cool because it's, I really love its color and then it has like this belt, you guys. So it actually ties up and yeah, that's about it. It also has this really cool pocket and I thrifted this and it says it's from Banana Republic. So yeah, it's, it seems bougie. <laughs> Because the whole of Simba's look screams bougie. He just wants me to look like I'm part of the royal family. So, you know, yeah, this is what I'm going to wear. Um, he didn't even send, like, what to pair it with down. So we're going to have to improvise. For some glasses, I'm going to wear these ones. These are from MRP. They were, like, 700. I really love them. I don't even like sunglasses, but these are the only pair of sunglasses I've ever liked. Like, in my life, these are the only ones. So, yeah. So we're going to go just steal my mom's scarf. I saw her with it yesterday tying it on her hair before bed and I just knew I have to steal it. <laughs> Good. I got it and it's just this animal print scarf that I think she got from Toy. I don't know. There's really a place in Toy. This guy sells like scarves for like 10 bob. True story. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to put this on, put on the sunglasses and I'll be right back. <clears throat> I know you're wondering, Tamina, what the hell is this? Because I had chosen a whole pink blazer. I had taken a whole like animal print scarf that was grey. But you guys, let me tell you what, that look, 
just was not it like, jesus is lord like in simple terms that's just it just wasn't it just was not <laughs> so yeah i really didn't like it so i decided you know let me just go back to what i know you know what they say once you go black you never go back so i decided to put on a black outfit and i'm just putting on this like black long blazer you know it if you watched my other videos you know this blazer i thrifted it this um black um turtleneck sweater and then i put on my belt it's a snake skin belt and it's just trying to cinch in my waist a little bit so i don't look like i'm being swallowed by the coat and then finally you know just a little like sunglasses i made so much effort i even put a little pin over here you guys this is such an improvement from the first look you guys you don't even know like i don't think you understand <laughs> Um, I didn't realize it was this hard to serve colonizer energy, but now I know. Now I really know. <laughs> it's really hard, guys. <laughs> the other look was so ugly. Oh my. <laughs> ah, that's why I don't do color, guys. So yeah. Yeah, that's it for this look. Everything is basically thrifted. I stole this one now from my sister's room. And yeah, that's just it. I don't know how you guys feel about the look. I feel like it's definitely an improvement from the other one. I would rate it... Uh... Hmm. maybe like a seven six but then like a one for effort because i've put a lot of effort into this guys i've even done this look twice so i'm just still going to um you know leave the kfc um dial a delivery number plus the kfc app link down below in case he feels like he's touched by the spirit and feels like i killed this look i blew his mind and all that you know simba just you know <laughs> in case you feel like you've been moved i'll just put it in the description down below so that there is no confusion and yeah that's it for this look guys i'll see you when i'm doing the next look Yasmin's day and yeah So this is Yasmin. She does fashion, lifestyle, and makeup videos on YouTube. Um, yeah, she has really nice videos. You guys should really check her out. I remember I first subscribed to her because of a Gikomba haul. I loved how she styled all her pieces. I loved her editing and I just loved her general aesthetic. She is literally the definition of aesthetic. Like, I'm not even joking, guys. Just go check. Just go confirm. <laughs> I've met her once. Not even met her. I've seen her once again at an Insta market. Shout out to Insta market, but my awkward self was too shy to say anything. I'd say her style is modest, vintage, modern, and all her outfits are so well put together. My favorite outfit is this yellow dress because it really served me like need vibes and yeah let's just go hear what she had to say hey tamina it's your girl yasmin here i hope you're doing well the style that i want you to, to recreate in this video is the model of duty style i'm gonna insert a few inspo photos here so you can have a look i can't wait to see what you come up with so first of all yasmin you look that look is unreal and yeah wow I'm just amazed, speechless. <laughs> so anyway, Yasmin said, um, as you've seen, she wants me to do the model of duty look. And I'm just going through the pictures. I'll put some of them over here so that you guys can be able to see. And I think I love all of them. But um, my, I love, they all look so good. But the one that I have, like all the pieces is, um, I think this is Bella Hadid's look. And I have this white vest from MRP. I have white ripped jeans from toy and i have i don't have white sock boots but i do have boots that are snake skin black and white so yeah i don't have do i have this bag i'm going to look for one do i have to wear sunglasses i don't look so good with sunglasses as you guys saw in my or we'll see in my other video um so yeah we have to try this first look i'm so excited and she has no bra meaning she's speaking to me this is this has to be the look you guys or have you guys been wearing a bra during quarantine during self-isolation i need to get these terms correct have you guys been wearing a bra during self-isolation cause i my bras probably think i'm dead <laughs> yasmin yasmin yes i love this look <laughs> an understatement and you know the reason i love this video is because i would have never thought of pairing this together like the way it is let me switch you guys to the mirror you guys let me switch so here's the finished outfit down to the shoes um i got this this bag is from my mom's room 
I don't know where she got it from. I could ask her. Um, here are the details. This necklace is from like a boss babe, which unfortunately is closed right now, but it will be open soon. This top is from MRP. This um, ripped jeans, which needs to be a bit more ripped, are from Toy. And then this boots, my favorite boots ever, are from MRP again. So yeah, that's the look, guys. I really love this look. Like, don't think you understand. So this is David Odongo. As you can see, he's a scientist who has been socially distant since 1997. So his Instagram literally looks like it's been cut out of some exotic travel magazine. He puts out a lot of travel content. He actually does all the things you have in your bucket list. Yeah. <laughs> so I've seen him also model for brands on his page. So maybe he should just put like scientist slash model. But okay, that's just me. Another fun fact I discovered is he's literally TikTok famous. So yeah, I can finally say I know someone who's TikTok famous. I've actually never met him. But I know three cool things about him. He has impeccable taste in music, ice cream, and clothes. His style is pretty chilled. It's even toned and even textured. And he doesn't play around a lot with color he only plays he mostly likes to play around with like patterns as i've noticed and this is my favorite picture from his instagram and let's hear what he has to say what's up you guys so tamina asked me to help her style a fit for a day um i thought that'd be super fun i'm not super great at styling but i thought i'd give it a try see what she looks like she's probably gonna look really fire so y'all are welcome um let's see for the bottoms i think for the bottom part i think she'd look really sick with high-waisted pleated pants or no high-waisted pleated shorts if she can't get high-waisted pleated shorts she can try high-waisted pleated pants um if she can't find high-waisted pleated pants then she should just try and find high-waisted shorts or pants if she can't find those then she can try um a mini skirt preferably not like like this like a flat mini skirt that would be sick um and uh that would be paired with a pair of white shoes preferably vans if she can't find vans and converse is fine and if she can't find converse then any white any pair of white shoes should work fine um so that's done for the socks maybe don't wear long socks or ankle socks or any socks that would be visible but yeah we just want to see the shoes and the legs that would be fire and the pleated shorts and pants or mini skirt or whatever and then for the top just get a dress shirt it doesn't have to be um silky but silky dress shirts just flow a lot better um i guess you could just wear a regular dress shirt um preferably white or oh, honestly just wear any dress shirt no no don't wear it that's dangerous uh white white dress shirts and then pastel for the bottom so if you get pastel colors for the pants or the shorts or the dress fire unless it's a mini skirt thing i think that that would be fine if it's black fire and then so for the top you're going to be wearing a dress shirt um accessories i don't know with this look maybe not a lot of accessories you can have like a simple chain that's sick um simple studs that's fire um hair tied up in a ponytail that's a vibe um even if it's just your natural hair oof that would be fire especially if it's your natural hair and then or you know whatever hairstyle you want because you're a woman and you can make decisions for yourself feminism um and then oh if you could get a blazer if the blazer is checkered that would be sick if you get a checkered blazer um but if you can't get a checkered blazer i think a black blazer would be fire as well but 
that's that's kind of my vision that's my vibes um i hope you look good in it okay david so just three things the first one is i'm a big fan of the nails like wow <laughs> they give me like an asa brocky harry styles kind of vibe so yeah big fan second thing is i love how your energy just went from like oh this is of course it's going to be fun to i don't no. to again being like oh this is going to look so good so yeah i love love the energy wave and thirdly um when guys talk about or better yet when guys are feminists wow okay to the video <laughs> so when i was editing the footage i realized the video is going to be really really long so today i'm going to do the last two today and tomorrow really fast so that the video isn't that long or do you guys want long videos just let me know down below so anyway today is david's day let me not get off track so i already put my hair in a ponytail because he said that i should put my hair in a ponytail and he was like oh i should put my natural hair in a ponytail well um, if it was my natural hair, it wouldn't be able to be in a ponytail, but I admire the faith. <laughs> the other thing he said was um, he wanted me to just have like normal studs, which I don't have. You guys, I don't own a normal pair of earrings. Like my earrings always have to make a statement. It either has to be big, it has to be an afrocom, it just has to make a statement. So these are the only like really tiny earrings I have. That and some loops, which I'm trying to switch it up a bit today. And yeah, I'm just going to change into his outfit. I don't know if I have all the pieces. I don't know if I'm going to look good but what i have from what he said is i have okay i have both the scarf that he described like this <laughs> i have that and i have pleated pants that are high-waisted and i have pleated pants that are high-waisted that are pastel gray so yeah that's good so i'm going to try that i have a silk shirt as well i don't have bands i have shoes that kind of look like let me show you my shoes I have like these shoes are the only like casual wear type of shoes that I usually have because I really like boots. I'm always in boots. So yeah, these are the only ones and I love them. My mom got them for me and they're really cute. They have like a bolt over here. Yeah, I just love them. And these are the ones I'm going to wear. Um, uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just go change into the outfit before I keep on talking. And then we have an hour long video. So yeah. <laughs> so I have one thing to say, not even to say, to ask. Um, David Adongo, can you please be my stylist because this look is so good and I would have never thought of that. Like, it would not have crossed my mind to put this, I'm even speechless, like I wouldn't have put this silk shirt together with this pleated pants. I didn't even know I had pleated pants. I had to check my closet today morning. I was like, wait, I have these. <laughs> so when I wore it together, I was just like, wow, I'm blown away because it's very different. I would never wear this, but I actually really like it. And yeah, let me just show you guys the final look. to cheer myself up by wearing clothes and putting together outfits i've had like the worst morning you guys you guys you don't even understand so i'm so excited to do this today is stephanie's day so this is stephanie she is a youtuber so today we're just gonna she does makeup, she does fashion, she does lifestyle and advice videos. Literally, she has a bit of everything on her channel, her Instagram and her TikTok. Um, the first time I met her was during a trip to Ngarindare and her energy is literally infectious. Um, judging from her Instagram, I would say her style is simple, it's stylish and it's trendy. This is my favorite look ever ever from her Instagram. And yeah, let's see what she had to say. Hi T and hi T fam. So... For your style video, I thought maybe for your category, you should, for my category, you should probably wear Polyvar. The category is Polyvar. Now, Polyvar is this very Pinteresty vibe. So I was thinking of probably a nice um, fitting turtleneck, like the crop turtlenecks that have like the really nice, a uh, very light material. And then maybe you could wear like with a, uh, you could pair it with like a, 
uh, with like baggy um baggy what are they're not khaki and maybe high platform um shoes with lots of necklaces like layered necklaces and maybe some small hoops and like the really small sling bag yeah as you've seen and she said the category is polyvar guys i'm learning so much this week did you guys even know what polyvar was yeah me neither i just i was confused i had to google it but she sent inspo pictures so i'm going to insert them over here here it was one inspo picture so i'm going to insert it over here and yeah i think i have all the pieces to make this work so yeah let's just try it for this stuff you look amazing in that video i love the whole alexa demi inspired look and please yes post the tutorial and you guys put your post notifications on so that you get a notification each time she posts and yeah so stuff <laughs> the first thing she said is baggy jeans she was like baggy mom jeans and i have baggy mom jeans but the only problem is these are bootleg no this 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 yes this this pair is bootleg bootlegged what is with my english today <laughs> So this pair is bootlegged, bootlegged, just ignore, this pair is a bootleg pair, you get it, yeah? So yeah, that's the problem and we need to make it look like those folded mom jeans pair of jeans. Wow, guys, this sentence construction, wow. Um, so we need to fold them and make them look like that nice folded pair of like buggy mom jeans, which I'll show you how to do in a few. And then the next piece that she said was like the top that's like sheer, it has like light material and it's like long sleeved. So I have something close to that. So let me just show you guys. So here it is. It's just like this sheer nude, um, sheer nude long sleeved top, which I love. And I feel like it fits into what she was like trying to describe. I'll put the inspo picture over here so that you guys can kind of see what she had in mind. And then... The next thing she had in mind was platform shoes, which I actually do have a pair of and I'm excited, so let me show you. Okay, so the next um, piece I have, okay, the next pair. The next part of Steph's outfit that I have is this like chunky heeled, okay, so not heeled, chunky soled pair of shoes. And I love them. I've never worn them anywhere, so I don't even know why they're like a bit dirty. And I lost the shoelaces because I used to be obsessed with tying my natural hair bands with shoelaces. So we're going to have to steal some other shoelaces from some other shoes. But yeah, these are the shoes. And then let me show you guys the accessories. And finally, for accessories, she wanted me to have like those short handled bags, which I've been like trending for the longest time. I've been trying to get one, but I haven't. So what I did is I took the rest of the handle. It's a really long handle, as you can see. And I just tucked it in to the bag like this. And then you just kind of like lock it like this. And there you go. You have like a short handled vintage bag. Just simple. <laughs> and then um, finally, I have this um silver layered necklaces which oh no like do you guys know when this happens and the thing is i hang them on a hook so i don't even know how it's tangled so pray for me this doesn't take a hundred years to untangle but yeah since the bag is silver and i'm going to wear a silver belt i just thought i should have them silver um accessories i'll also wear some silver hoops and that will be the end of steph's look <laughs> for Steph's look that was really fun I really love the whole outfit it's really my whole it's just my vibe I really like it I would rate it a strong 9 out of 10 and Steph thank you so much for participating in this and I really appreciate it yeah I'll see you guys in the next when I'm doing the next outfit and yeah bye so it's Eli's day so this is Eli, he's mainly on Instagram and on here he does a lot of interesting content, especially suited for men, but I mean, I watch it too, so... <laughs>
could tell he was really proud of himself because of those transitions. Anyway, he's on YouTube too, so you could you should definitely check out his videos there. Uh, I met him more than once at the famous Insta Market, which him and his sister are founders. It's a monthly flea market that's held in Nairobi, and it's literally lots of fun, guys. His style is simple, classy, it's very sophisticated. He just looks like he definitely does not suffer in life. This is my favorite photo of him and let's see what he chose. Hey Tamina, I hope you're well. Eli Mwenda here and firstly thank you for letting me be part of this video and this outfit challenge. I'm really excited to see what you come up with. Um, you've got incredible style so I'm sure you're going to smash this challenge. Um, so I've had a look on the internet for an outfit that you can recreate and I found one on a South African influencer. She's called Michaela. My name is Michali. Can you pronounce it? I'm not sure. But anyway, she's got great style and so do you. This is why I went to her page. Um, this is a very simple, very classy outfit mm -hmm. that's kind of for maybe a date or like a brunch or like a summery look. Um, and the main focus of this outfit is the pleated skirt. But we'll start from the top. Uh, she's got her hair down. She's got some nice sunglasses on for kind of summer vibe. And then as she comes down, it's a nice crisp white shirt. And then she's paired it with the focal point of the outfit, which is a pleated skirt in a very, very nice color. Um, then moving down to the bag. Uh, it's a very nice standard Louis Vuitton bag, but any bag will do. And then going down to the shoes, it's some strap shoes, which really complements the colour of the skirt. The reason I really like this outfit is because of the skirt. It's, uh, it's a real good focal point. It brings in the waist, gives a nice silhouette. And uh, yeah, that's the main reason I went for this outfit. I'm really excited to see what you do with this and how you recreate this. You've got great style, like I said, so I'm sure you've, you've got this. I'm very excited to see the results, Tamina. Thank you for letting me be part of this, and I'll see you soon. Peace. And I'm already in his outfit because I'm excited. And Eli, your hair is holding up pretty well, despite Corona struggles. Anyway, so he described the outfit to a T for the T fam. <laughs> okay, no? Uh, okay, fine. I'll stop. <laughs> so I'm already in his outfit and I'm so excited to show you guys because I feel like it's also pretty cute. And again, it's something that I wouldn't have thought of wearing. And yeah, let me just switch you guys. And if you're wondering, yes, this is another white shirt. I don't know if the guys obsessed with white shirts i think they kind of are but i feel like it's a pretty cute style so yeah let me just show you guys the full outfit i really hope everything shows up well because let me tell you guys it's dark it's raining it's pretty rude of it to get dark outside when i'm trying to be a youtuber but the show must go on also because i need to have this video up by tomorrow <laughs> so yeah <laughs> So this is Wabosha. Um, she is a content creator. She is an engineer and a Wonder Woman. That's what it says on her bio. But if I was to write her bio, I would say she is a young queen crushing it. Literally, she's so inspiring. She makes really good Instagram content and YouTube content as well. She does lifestyle. She does beauty, travel, advice, fashion, everything. I don't know why she says she's not good at fashion while she literally looks good all the time um i've met her once and i was very very awkward like guys i couldn't stop talking but she was very nice about it her youtube channel her instagram it just gives you this vibe that you just feel like you have to subscribe and yeah i would say her style is very simple it's chic but she really stands out like she doesn't have to try hard to stand out this is my favorite picture if i could like it more than once i would and yeah let's see what she had to say Hey Tifa, Mwabosha here. So when I think of Tamina's style, I think of um, 
stylish like really stylish but laid back like effortlessly put together and for me the one thing that screams effortlessly put together is um like a slip dress with a t-shirt inside and matching shoes so, like if you have a white t-shirt then you have like white sneakers on or if you have a black t-shirt then you have black boots on yeah i think that she can really really pull off that look so hey guys um it's waboshas like it's time for waboshas outfit <laughs> So um, I just finished watching her video again and I have to tell you I'm obsessed with your hair and your eyebrows. So Wabosha, as you've heard, she said she wanted me to put on a slip. Wait, first of all, she complimented me so much. So thank you so much. I also really love your style. And okay, next. <laughs> My brain needs to think because it's getting darker and darker by the minute. So she said I should wear a slip dress and I should wear a shirt and that the shirt should match the shoes I wear. And she was talking about boots, which I was so happy about because you guys know I'm obsessed with boots. So I decided to pair um, a white what a black t-shirt with a black and white slip dress and my sock boots and i'm again going to take the video from my phone and just insert it over here and yeah i think that will be the last outfit yeah that's actually the last outfit and then i say bye to you guys so here's the final look from what um wabosha chose for me she said black she said that the t-shirt should match the shoes so i wore my favorite black sock boots if you've been on this channel you know that i love and i'm obsessed with these sock boots i paired it okay you know like the this is silver so i decided to go with a silver belt just to cinch in my waist a bit more to give me a bit more definition so that i just don't look like this you know like yeah anyway so and then this t-shirt um thrifted, i thrifted everything here and this t-shirt is also black matching the shoes the slip dress is really cute and this t-shirt dress is really cute but i feel like it's providing like layers to the outfit because this is a t-shirt dress so it's providing like extra layers because if i pull this down yeah so it provides like extra layers like that so yeah i really love this look i feel like i would go for a concert like this so hopefully when corona you know when corona ends or this corona times end i go like this and yeah i really love the outfit maybe with some sunglasses it can look better but yeah that's the final look <laughs> God, you guys so i'm going to have to film this outro on my phone so because my camera is over here and it just doesn't do well in low light conditions i'm literally using a torch like you should the ghetto <laughs> so anyway um thank you so so anyway thank you so much for watching this video if you reach this point comment your favorite outfit and thank you so much to everyone who helped me choose an outfit i really appreciate it you've made this video what it is literally this video would not have been filmed without you guys and yeah thank you so much and i'll see you guys in the next video sorry for this outro <laughs> and yeah bye t fam